As we enjoy the summer season, getting outside and staying active is certainly a priority. And for some people, that might include preparing for a fitness challenge, maybe a road race or even a triathlon. To help ensure you're as prepared as possible for your next athletic endeavor and any associated travel, I'm joined today by Dr. Amit Arwindecker, Medical Director with United Healthcare Global. Dr. Arwindecker, thanks for being with us today. Thanks for having me. So what should people keep in mind as they prepare for, say, an upcoming endurance race? So I'm preparing for a half marathon later this year. And I think the, one of the most important strategies to keep in mind is to prepare for the race you're going to be doing. So if you're just starting out and doing a 5K, make sure you incorporate walking because that can be a great exercise. It's a great place to start, help you avoid injuries. And studies have shown that walking can help reduce the risks of high blood pressure, diabetes, and obesity as much as other forms of exercise. If you're planning for a longer race, plan at least eight to 12 weeks in advance and consider following a specific program for the type of race you're going to be doing, whether it's a road race, a triathlon, or an obstacle course. Well, I know there's a lot of great fitness technology out there. How can we use, best use that tech when training and on race day? Tapping into technology while training for race is really beneficial, and there's a lot of wearable devices and fitness apps to help you track your progress day over day, stay motivated, and get the most out of your workout experience. In fact, millions of eligible United Healthcare members may have access to year-long subscriptions to Apple Fitness Plus at no additional cost included in their plan, which includes over 3,500 workout routines and meditations. When it comes to race day, the apps and wearables can help your family track where you are on the course and know if you're getting in any trouble, but also follow along with your progress. Well, what about people who are thinking about going big and traveling for a high profile race? So as someone who's traveled to three different countries to run half marathons, I totally understand how much excitement traveling for a race can add to the competition. If you're thinking about traveling, a couple of things to keep in mind. First and foremost, do your research. Understand what the weather, what the conditions may be like. Plan in advance to know where you may be able to get medical attention if you get injured or ill. While you're there on your trip, make sure you pack and wear appropriate clothing, especially if the weather might impact your performance. Know where the medical facilities are and understand how to tap into virtual care if you get injured or ill. And then adjust your pace as the conditions change. If you're encountering things you're not familiar with or it's becoming more difficult, make sure that you accommodate for that. Most importantly, stay hydrated. Stay hydrated during your flights uh, and during your tr uh, training to help minimize jet lag and uh, get the most out of your performance. But what about some ways we can reduce stress before, during, and after an endurance race? You know, traveling and training for an endurance race is physically and emotionally demanding. Think first and foremost to help reduce your stress, understand what your goals are. If you're striving for a personal best, make sure you keep that in mind as a motivator. If you're going just to finish and enjoy the experience, remember that's what you're there for. Um, I, second thing, I think consider incorporating yoga into your training routine. It's a great way to stay flexible and change up your workouts uh, and prevent injuries. And finally, I think once you're traveling, plan some events for your downtime. Plan things to do before and afterwards so you get a chance to relax, enjoy the place you're going to, and get the most out of your race. Well, let's say things don't go according to plan. How can we best protect our health and our travel plans? So when travel... I always uh, recommend opting for trip cancellation protection and travel medical insurance. Adding this type of coverage can protect against unexpected travel interruptions, health issues that may not be covered by your standard employer, sponsored or individual medical plans. For example, a United Healthcare Global Safe Trip Plan offers travel protection that can uh, provide financial coverage and support in connection with trip delays, cancellations, as well as medical issues or injuries, especially if you're going overseas. Ensuring that you have appropriate protection in place may help you make the most of your trip and enable you to focus on enjoying your competition. Well, we covered a lot here, Dr. Armand Decker. Where can we go for more information? For more information, please go to uhcsafetrip.com. Dr. Amit Armand Decker, thanks for joining us today. Thank you.